depending on whether you wish to make a one or two layered mask, cut either one or two layers of sterilization wrap material as used here into a 17 by 21 centimeter piece. In this video, we have used halyard sterilization wrap. Fold the material in half lengthways and then make a hole at both free corners, ideally with a hole punch. Roll back the other corners in order to create a seal. And now staple the folded edge to secure it. Repeat the same procedure on the other side. Now use a simple twist tie or other flexible metal strip and place it on the top layer of the mask and secure it with staples. This will serve as the nose piece. Now attach the rubber bands to the mask on both edges through the holes you've created like so. These can be attached to the mask by the person intending to use it after the mask has already been autoclaved. The mask is now complete and ready to be worn. To put the mask on, simply loop the two rubber bands around your ears and then tighten the mask at your nose bridge in order to create a better fit. Depending on the level of filtration needed, the mask can be made out of one or two layers of surgical wrapping. As you can see, the waterproof nature of this material also means that it can be disinfected or washed and then reused. If you have or are making fabric masks with filter pockets, this material can also be used to put in those pockets in order to create an effective barrier.